This week on Machinery PTV, we wrap up our coverage of the Jim May Retirement Auction. Jim's 2006 John Deere 9560 SDS Combine caught the eye of many bidders. We'll look at one of the crown jewels of the Days Gone By collection. And 10-year-old combines lead the charge in used market values. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery PTV, and as Fred Rogers would say, welcome to my neighborhood, Southeast Minnesota. We're just outside of Adams, Minnesota here for the Farm Retirement Auction for Jim and Barb May. Now they've got a beautiful line of red tractors, but a green combine, an 06 60 we're gonna enjoy watching sell. But first, you know what we gotta do. Go back to the studio for the latest farm equipment news. I'm Tyne Morgan. Well, days on the job, President Biden has signed an executive order aimed at boosting the federal government's Buy American rules. The order directs agencies to strengthen requirements so that they acquire more goods and services from U.S. companies and workers. It makes it harder for federal officials to obtain waivers to purchase products from overseas. But one thing we didn't hear about was anything regarding biofuels. Instead, a piece of the plan calls for replacing federal-owned vehicles with electric vehicles over time. The federal government also owns an enormous fleet of vehicles, which we're going to replace with clean electric vehicles made right here in America by American workers, creating millions of jobs, a million auto worker jobs. Biofuel groups are hopeful the new administration will get the renewable fuel standard back on track. But the President Biden's EPA will have to make a decision about biofuels because the proposed rule for this year and next year's biodiesel levels has now been formally withdrawn from the Office of Management and Budget. The proposed rule had been under review since last May. That means the new EPA will now have to put together a new proposed rule on the levels. It's not clear what the new timeline will be. All right, that's a quick check of your news. And now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. All right, now back to Machinery Pete. Hey folks, stick around. Coming up, we're gonna watch a trusty old six-row cornhead sell this John Deere 693. folks, I'm here with Andrew Hamilton with Hamilton Auction Company. Now, Andrew, 2020, man, what a year on the auction side of things. Can you walk us back what that was like when the pandemic started to close in in March? And that's the busiest time of year. Yes, you know, and we were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place then, you know. Um, we have our March um, consignment sale, which is a huge event, right. and how to handle it and this and that. So we did that first event uh, virtual. Okay. So we sold it uh, as, a, as a virtual event and had, you know, probably really beat our expectations of what, you know, and the turnout and mm -hmm. how the crowd and people responded to that online bidding platform and what things brought for value. You were know? sellers, bef right before the sale, were sellers, were they nervous about what there stuff was, was going to There were some bring? people that were extremely nervous and I actually pulled some equipment from the sale, sure. you know, which, you know, later time we got marketed for them and stuff like that. But, right. you know, the unknown and, mm -hmm. and uh, um, you know, but as the results of the sale and the auction, you know, were really extremely well, you know. All right, folks, time for a six row cornhead, John Deere 693. Now, so far this year, the average auction price on these babies, 
6,877 bucks. And the range, I've seen them as high as 14,212, all the way down to 3,200. And Andrew, let's talk about the corn head on this sale, this John Deere 693. Now, a lot of six row heads out there, older heads, but uh, you know, Jim and Barb May, they, they really had good condition equipment. Yep, yeah, you know, machine, pretty low acre machine. They did, Jim and um, Barb did farm a ton of acres. So the, you know, the corn head, even though it was a little older, um, probably didn't see very many acres, you know. Um, you, you know, people were very impressed with it when they came to look at it. Um, again, you know, with the family of the combine and on um, the bean head and everything else, everything looked the part, you know. So, um, you know, didn't need much work done to it at all. It was, you know, and always well cleaned up and cared for, you know. And, and again, that's why it brings, you know, kind of that premium price, you know. So, yeah, 10500 bucks. Again, very solid bidding here, Andrew. I think the average auction price on a 693 Cornhead uh, this year, let me get the uh, up to date number. Seven thousand eleven dollars. So ten thousand five again shows how nice that six ninety three was. All right, folks, time for the John Deere six twenty five F twenty five foot flex platform. Now coming into the sale today, I've seen just over forty of these things sold at auction. Average sale price eleven thousand three hundred seventy three bucks, down a little bit from last year's average of thirteen thousand two fifty. All right, folks, a uh, very nice John Deere 625F flex head on our auction today for Jim and Bard May here in Southeast Minnesota. Now, Andrew, um, obviously commodity prices uh, gave us a nice surprise here, fall of 2020, right into late into the year for Jim and Barb's sale. Um, from your chair, uh, selling used equipment, what did you see here through the fall into the winter of uh, 2020? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously it brought uh, a lot more people to the market that uh, normally we've seen in the last three, four years. You know, guys are getting a chance to update some things that uh, they've been probably deferring or putting off. You know, so it is nice to see that refresh, you know, um, you know, buying and demand of, uh, of this good, clean stuff. And again, you know, this nice, nicer, older stuff is bringing pretty good premium because you know, there's guys looking for it. So um, just like this head, the 625 yeah. half. Um, you got $13,000 for it. Very solid price there, Andrew. Um, now you were telling me, Jim, Jim didn't really put a ton of acres on this thing. Is that correct? Yeah. Jim only harvested about 80 acres of beans a year with that. So even though the head is, you know, has a little age on it, it's very extremely low acre, you know, for 625. And I think that's what showed, um, to, you know, to the uh, potential buyers. And that's why it warranted that, you know, 13,000 bucks. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Machinery Pete TV, brought to you by the Senex Total Protection Plan, the best warranty in the agriculture industry that keeps you in the field and provides you peace of mind. Visit Senex.com. Folks, you know how some dates are easier to remember? One for me is August 15th. Now that's the birth date of our youngest daughter, Josie. She was born in 1993. Can't believe this little bugger's 27 years old now. Just unbelievable how time flies. 
Now this date, August 15th, came back to me recently when I was actually doing a study on used combine values. It's kind of an interesting study. I was looking for the highest auction price each of the past 20 years on a 10-year-old used combine. So I hopped into machinerypeat.com, our auction price data, which again is free by the way, so you can hop in and do this kind of stuff too. But you can see here, a pretty interesting. Now look back in the year 2000 on August 15th, it was a sale in Miller, South Dakota where a John Deere 9600 combine sold for $50,500. That was a 1990 model, 10 years old at the time. Again, that was the highest auction price 20 years ago in a 10 year old combine. Now if we zoom ahead to last year, calendar year 2020, you can see again, August 15th, Oakville, Illinois, a 2010 model, John Deere 9770 STS, 820 engine hours, sells for $181,000. That was the highest auction price last year on a 10-year-old used combine. Now, that was actually tied once by this 2010 Case H7120, 1,460 engine hours on it. Now, this sold June 23rd on an online farm auction in Pontiac, Illinois. Again, $181,000. So pretty amazing there, 20-year span to see how the value of the nicest 10-year-old combine jumped from just over 50K to not that far from 200,000 bucks. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we're off to Portland, Tennessee to visit the Days Gone By Museum, and we're gonna learn about a giant from the past. This steam engine was produced in Mount Vernon, Indiana, and is a proud piece to the family collection. Joe Collins shows off this monster tractor. What's behind me here is a 1928 uh, 19-horse Kit Garnerman traction engine. That's actually the engine number. That's not uh, that's not the year it was built. A lot of people look at that and think that's when she was built, but uh, that's actually the, the the engine number or serial number. The thing about Kick now, they didn't run them consecutive. It was just a uh, the story goes there was a box of these tags in the factory and they just reach in there and grab one. So these numbers in the years, they just go up and down. They're not consecutive numbers. This this engine came available, it was up in Anderson, Indiana. It'd been, it hadn't, hadn't been out of the shed in probably 10 or 12 years. And so we, we took a trip up to check her out. And uh, it, it was a very nasty thing. The raccoons had had their way with it. We ultrasounded it and the boiler turned out to be great as far as condition of the boiler. Well the thing about the keck is they kept all the, the bill sheets and all the records. And so you send this number in and they'll send you a copy of the original bill sheet. So once we got that back, uh, we found out this engine was originally sold and delivered to a town called Orlinda, Tennessee, and that's about 16 miles from where we're standing. And so also on that bill sheet, it had the name, it was a father and son that bought this thing, and they ran a sawmill. And the last name was Lane, well, my sister-in-law's last name was Lane, and she'd been in, uh, looking at her family history and doing her family tree and trying to get back. And uh, well, long story short, this was part of her family bought this engine new, so it, it left Tennessee in 1955, and it's been back about 10 years now, and it's made a full circle nearly from where it was originally sent. We pulled this thing in, tore it all the way down to the boiler, and uh, him and another man put new flues. It's, it's been rebabbed, it's completely restored, and it's a great engine. No other cornhead works like a Drago, or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Okay, folks, our feature item on the show today is a beautiful John Deere Combine, a 2006 9560 STS. Here with owner Jim May. Jim, engine hours on this thing, is it just under 2,000? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you, did you buy this new or used? Used one. It had like 800 hours on it. Okay. Did you pick it up right local here in southeast Minnesota or? No, uh, Cresco, Bodenstein. Oh, you went across the border into Iowa. Yep. And they yep. let you back in to yep. Minnesota. <laughs> okay. I bought three combines down and I had the same salesman. 
Bodensteiner is a very good John Deere dealership down there. Yeah, I like yeah. those folks. They do a lot of business. Yeah. They do. Yeah, they have a lot of customers from up here in Minnesota, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Now, Jim, before the 9560, what combine were you running on the farm here? Uh, 9400. 94. Yeah. And how did you like that one? Oh, I thought it was really good until I got into this one, and that's so much better than the 94. But Now, when you hop up in that cab, Jim, uh, you still feel okay with that IH hat in the John oh, yeah. cab? Yeah. It works. Yeah, and I, we get along pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, this thing just over just under 2,100 engine hours, 1359 SEP, um, pretty nice combine. Yeah, for its age, you know, the pretty low hour machine. Uh, Jim and Barb there, they always did their service work here locally every year. Um, down to uh, Thomy Repair there, did uh, service on it annually, and and it showed, you know, he Jim didn't cut no corners on this machine at all, and and being it's a low hour machine, kind of you know. Granted, a you know premium price, you know, um, set up pretty well. Had green started a yield monitor and moisture. So a lot of these people that were looking at this machine were coming from a like a 9500 or a little bit older technology machine, and yet getting into some of that uh, yield and moisture monitoring, and you know that was kind of a big plus for them. And systems capable of mapping and, and things like that uh, had a lot of nice perks, you know, for it. Plus, you know, the way it had uh, 800 uh, centimeter front tires, so it wasn't straddle duals. You know that fit a pretty wide variety audience. So I think that, uh, that that was a nice thing where it wasn't straddle duels like most combines can be. Um, you know, chopper, plus it had the touch set uh, technology in it for John Deere. So it kind of really fit uh, the right clientele of people there. It had a lot of nice technology with it, but yet uh, wasn't, uh, um, you know, $150,000 machine where it fit that budget for that guy. And, and uh, he was willing to pay a premium for it because of the condition and the year and the low hours. So. Yeah, seventy-two thousand dollars. Very solid price there, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, our average price this year we've seen around North America on a ninety-five sixty is forty-five thousand. Uh, let's see, forty-five thousand five hundred five bucks. So seventy-two k, way yeah. over the average. But again, the condition that Jim had this thing in uh, was pretty. Uh, it, it warrants the premium. Yeah, very very good price. Okay, folks, it's time now to talk Draper heads. I've seen a couple recently sold at auction that caught my attention. Here's a picture of the first one. This was from a, an online farm auction, January 21st, 2021, up in Northeast North Dakota. And it was a 2019 John Deere 735 FD with a Crary Air Bar, which obviously that Air Bar adds a lot of value. Now this thing had 600 acres on it, very nice condition, and it sold for 85,750 bucks. In fact, that's only the second John Deere 735 FD Draper head I've seen hit the auction market. The first one was just a couple weeks prior, December 29th, 2020, on a farm auction up in Northeast Indiana, another 19 model, again, 735 FD. This one had 1,100 acres on it and sold for 70,000 bucks. So 70,000 and 85,750, how do those prices stack up? Well, let's compare it to retail value. Now, if you go to machinerypeat.com, at least today when I checked, I found 51 2019 model 735 FD Draper heads for sale. And the average dealer asking price, $78,619 with a range anywhere up to $93,660 on the high side and then down to $72,5 on the low side. So again, those hard cash auction prices at $70 and $85,750, very strong right in that retail range. Now the other Draper head that caught my eye recently, now this was a January 5th, 2021 online farm auction, the other side of Indiana down in the southwest part of the state. This was an 09 Case IH 2162 30 foot Draper. It sold really well, it brought 41.5 for that age, very strong. But what got folks talking about this one was the fact that it was being run on this 1993 Case IH 1688 combine just over 3200 engine hours on it, and the combine also sold well at 28,000 bucks. Well, 31 years now, folks, I've been saying it, it really pays to take great care of your farm equipment. And again, we saw that today on our friends, Jim and Barb May, their retirement farm auction in Adams, Minnesota. That 2006 John Deere 9560 STS combine, our feature item, just under 2,100 engine hours on it, 72,000 bucks, second highest auction price I saw all last year. Now tune in next week to the show folks, I guarantee you we'll have some more really nice used equipment to feature.
Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. <laughs>